And he said, I am the bread of life. This bread comes We're doing the sunset at Yom Kippur in our meeting in Washington, but I, I don't want you to miss it. Jonathan Kahn's leading communion. So when he came down to earth, he came down to a place in Hebrew that is called the house of bread or Beit Lehem or Bethlehem. The house of bread because he's the bread of life. And that means he's the bread, he's our sustenance, he's what we need. The bread of life is what we need more than anything else. If we needed money, money would have been in Bethlehem. If we needed something else, that would be in Bethlehem. But he is the bread of life. And he is what we need more than anything, the bread of life. And then the cup, the symbol of the, from Passover, the wine, the fruit of the vine, the blood of the lamb, the blood of God, the mercy of God poured out, his life poured out for us. And it says that also in the Bible, this cup is the cup of joy as well. This is the mercy of God. And also in the Hebrew wedding, the bridegroom would share a cup together with the bride. Well, he is the bridegroom, we are the bride, and he's sharing his cup with us. And this cup is the covenant where he, by which he says, I am in covenant with you. In other words, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you, I will be faithful to you now, to the end of your life, and forever. And you, we, the bride, we're in covenant, we have to say, Lord, beloved, I am yours. And I will not give myself to any other. I am yours. I will be faithful. I will never leave you. I will follow you all the days of my life. I am in covenant with you. And in the Song of Solomon, the bride and the bridegroom, the bride says to the bridegroom, my or of the bridegroom, my beloved is mine, and I am his. But in the language of the Lord, it's different. I want you to say it. It goes like this. Todi li. Va'amilo. Let's say it together. Todi li. Va'amilo. My beloved is mine, and I am his. We're going to partake together, and we're going to do it exactly as he did it. Uh, if we can have this, we're going to have the blessing that the exact words that he said. He lifted up the bread. And he said, as he said, this is my body given for you, partake. And he said these exact words. He said, Baruch atah Adonai, Elohim melech haolam, hamotzi lechem, min haaretz. Blessed are you, Lord, King of the universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. And he said, Partake of it, all of you, the bread of life. Let us partake. What we're going to do? On the road to Emmaus, when he broke bread, their eyes were open. We're going to take bread today, and as we all see this, we're going to go into a moment of silence. And I want you to meditate. Come on, help me. Meditate. This is not just bread. This, in many ways, is a reception of his whole life. More than a symbol, a sacrament of living bread to your soul. We're going to take this bread and believe for healing. We're going to take this bread and believe for everything he is. So on the night he was betrayed, lift your bread up, lift the bread up. He took the bread. And he blessed him. Father, right now we bless this bread more than a wafer. But the ingestion of your very life in your life. We bless this bread. And we say this is, you said this is my body that was broken for you. Take and eat. Everyone across this mall, don't look 
look at the stage. Eat of the bread of life. at the stage. Behold the Lamb. Complete removal of shame. Access into the presence. It's the bread of His face. Can you see His face? Fire. Fire in His eyes. Come Holy Spirit. It's the bread of His presence. This is His presence. If you feel like weeping, just begin to turn it loose. Feel the love of God begin to come in here. Thank you. 